Summer. Gary Murkoff. Verona Barrett. Richard Dawson. And Fanny Flag. As we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rivers. Thank you, Johnny O. Thank you, friends. You got a grand bunch there, and you got them all riled up and ready. And now, you do not have to participate this in this, those of you here in the studio audience, but we have a little tradition. Those of us who've been on this show for almost two years now, we give a brief, polite round, but heartfelt round of applause <laughs> to the two new kids on the block, Bob Barker and Rona Barrett. How are you? Thank you, Jay. Does he look smart? Now listen, <laughs> this is the first on Match Game 75. I was told that if I wore a tuxedo, I'd be a Match Game first, and here I am. Actually, yes, I wore it. Now wait, I'll right. tell you, I know that. I want you to know why I wore it. The reason I wore this, Gene, it is my intention to invite Brett out to dine. Oh. At McDonald's. <laughs> At McDonald's. <laughs> Rapper. Yes. <laughs> you got a new wig. Yes. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's stunning. Well, Do you like it... her wig? <laughs> uh -oh. The jury is still Don't out. Don't ask a columnist things like that. It's their job to be hateful. <laughs> She's I've, sweet. Seen her, I've seen her looking uh, terrific. Yes. But maybe not today. <laughs> See what a lovable, warm hearted bunch we are here. Well, listen, the C and R clothiers really did great by it, didn't no, they? No, 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 no. I got this with blue chip stamps. Oh, all right. <laughs> now, let's say Three hello to our two players here Philip Harper and Sherry Davis. Yeah. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? Okay. Phil is our current champ. He's won a lot of money. He has, how much? $3,450. Now, I forgot. What are you going to do with your money, Phil? Mm. <laughs> I haven't thought much about it. I might like to... You haven't thought about that? I'd like to go someplace. Somebody hands you $3,450. <laughs> you haven't thought about it? Get off this stage. <laughs> no, he's a current champ. He's going to stay here. And he's being challenged now by Sherry Davis, who will tell us the story of her life in eight and a half seconds. I'm from Upland. I've been Time's married up. almost... Up. Yes. <laughs> That's the story of my life. That's it. Now, you leave that girl alone. <laughs> um, I've been married almost seven years to my husband, Jim, and we have two little boys, Raymond, who's five, and Jason, who's three. And if I don't get Richard's autograph for my teenage next-door neighbor, I better not go home. Okay. We can arrange that for a price, can't we, Richard? <laughs> yes. If the price is right. If the price is right. That's right. <laughs> In that That's case, one. how about Bob Barker's autograph? <laughs> All right, Sherry, we'll begin this game. Good luck to you right after we hear a word or two from you. All right, I will push this button, reveal our first round questions, ask our challenger to make a selection. B. B, it is. New game, everybody plays. Here we go. Sheila always has to know what time it is. When she's at the beach, she uses her husband's blank as a sundial. <laughs> Sheila, did you hear that, Sherry? Sheila always has to know what time it is. When she's at the beach, she uses her husband's blank as a sundial. Our two new kids on the block were the first ones finished. They're not oh, filling around, boy. Well, there. It's easy. Got a couple of smarties there. here today. They spend more time at the beach. Can they I spend more time at the beach? <laughs> not me. All right. Now we're all set. We'll call on Sherry. Sherry, Sheila always has to know what time it is. So when she's at the beach, she uses her husband's blank as a sundial. His uh, line, sunburn line. His what? <laughs> oh, Sherry. Sherry, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say to me. Well, his right, sunburn, kind of. His sunburn, the demarcate. Yeah. Oh, the right. place. Oh, I see. I see. So she just dropped his shorts a little and looked at the wrong <laughs> end. I got the picture, Sherry. Not as weird as I thought she was. And I, <laughs> I have the feeling that she's one of the new kids on the block, too. Yes. Uh, no, you were, you, you were the first I'm one finished. I'm ready. Are you, are yeah, you? we're ready to All show right, and the tell. The actual retail price. <laughs> <laughs> 
I learned my line and I use it. Yeah. I said no. No is a good no. answer, Bob. <laughs> okay, Sherry. No, you see, you have this big beak and the cast a shadow. That's the way a sundial works. What do you say there? I say let's you and I go out and have fun. Okay. Where, Where were you? <laughs> My wife Where? got sick. I had to leave. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you we had a little rendezvous arranged, and oh, I blew the whole thing there. Manny and so I I'm had a kidding. terrific time. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you had to open your mouth. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling she's not going out with me tonight after all. <laughs> she's not. We, may we get out Is with Helen the game Is Helen still here? sick? Yes. Poor Helen. Helen Good luck, still Helen. Still <laughs> <laughs> Nether region, I said, which I believe is the lower portion of your body, somewhere between your knees and your waist. The nether region. <laughs> Does that match anything she said? No, that doesn't match no, anything doesn't she do. said. All right, Jerry, what do you say? With you, it's the nether region, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> I said it's navel. Navel. No match there. Well, just to refresh your memories, it's been a long time since you've heard it. Sheila always has to know what time it is, and when she's at the beach, she uses her husband's blank as a sundial. And you say... I say, um, this kind of line, a derriere. Derriere. That's who said it. As you plainly heard from the buzzer, that is not a match. I'm so sorry. Would you forgive me? Thank you. And now we'll call on Sir Richard. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> What was the uh, question? The question, uh, she uses her husband's blank as a sundial, and Sherry said sunburn line. Right, that's what I said. Now, where, when you get tanned, you lie out, you have your trunks on, right? Right. So I'm going to fight the judges on that. On body. the body. Good, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there. Jove, you've done it. Yes, there. there it is. That's one right, right on the, his body the, there. The sign now yeah. is, uh, oh. It says rhinestone shirt on your front, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Miss Rona suggested something else, but we won't go into that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she said derriere. Do you know that I was named after a lady, Derriere Jones? But No kidding. Anyway. <laughs> so, you I must said, tell me about it sometime. But not now. I uh, said no. No. Yeah. One match. Okay. We have all right. Match, Congratulations. So that's one for you, and now we've got Phil's uh, first round question, which reads as follows. Carol said, Bob is really shy. How, How shy, shy is, is he? he? <laughs> See how they pick these things up just like... <laughs> Well, they usually just say that about dumb Dora. <laughs> I'll tell you how shy she is. I'm glad you asked. When he... Uh, uh, Carol said, Bob is really shy. <laughs> when he proposed to me, he was under my blank. That's how shy he was. Carol said, Bob is really shy. When he proposed to me, he was under my blank. Oh, I got it. It got took it? just a minute, but I've got it. All right. That's okay. Splendid. I'll put it in there, baby. That's right. Okay. We're all set. We'll come over to Phil Harper. Carol said, Bob yeah. is really shy. Right. When he proposed to me, he was under my... Bed. Bed? Bed. Yeah. <laughs> he was that shy, eh? <laughs> Just walked right into her bedroom. <laughs> if he was that shy, how yes. did he get there? Yes, good question. <laughs> but uh, if he proposed, he was probably under her spell. However, I... But that's not what I said. That's Sorry. Right. We're getting Save ahead your of you. until he shows himself. I tells. said window. 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 No, that's a good answer. Well, I don't have to stay here and it's take that. <laughs> No, I have two shows that's of my right. own. That's I right. You can walk that. right out any time. <laughs> my audience has never booed me. They do here. They do. That's a spirited do. bunch there. Okay, Brett. They boo you. They mug you in the parking lot. They beat up the contestant. That I don't mind, the mugging. The <laughs> booing. <laughs> Well, it's funny that you should say, uh, little Philip should say bed, isn't it? Yes. Because that's what I said. You bed. said bed. There's one. I don't get the connection. I don't know how a shy guy could crawl under his girl's bed. Honey, but he was too the... terrified to get on it and propose. Oh, I see. <laughs> what do you say, Gare? I just said... Uh... You got a rotten, another rotten answer. Is that it? Sort of. <laughs> I said dress. I don't know why I said that, but that's what I said. Hmm. 
got you <sighs> under my dress. <laughs> well, anyway, when he proposed to me, he was under my blank, and Philip said, bed. What do you say? Well, somehow I think that old Robert and I should have gotten together because we know about shy people. That's right. The night is Ron, young, What my did dear. you say? I said under the window. Under the window. Under the window. Well, they, that's a uh, shy guy would do that. Now, wait a minute. You know, Romeo <laughs> was too shy to climb up on the balcony. He stood under her window. Don't they also have this. Hernia. Our he only problem is this is not a shy audience. That's right. You see, they don't understand. <laughs> he did the same thing. What do you say, Richard? Well, I guess Gary and I'll have to get together a set dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to wear it or After what? the show, it's the two of you and the two of you. <laughs> I've been wanting Bob for yes, years. Naturally. <laughs> what well, do you I've say, I've got to tell baby? you, I'm happy with it that way. <laughs> I say Robert E. Lee was a wonderful person. I oh. agree, too. <laughs> so I said sofa. Under my sofa. See, they don't boo me. Okay, so They're at the so end of round sweet. one, one to one, round two coming up, but first we've got a little message for you this is it. Here we go with round two, folks. There you are. One to one the score, Sherry. Uh, A. You want A. You had B last time, huh? Yeah. And now you're going to try A. Dumb Dora is so dumb. How dumb, dumb is Bob? Is she? I'll tell you how dumb she is. She tried to blank a shoehorn. Ah! <laughs> I know. That's blank how dumb Bob. Dora is. Oh, I got it. Tried to blank a shoehorn. You do? You're yeah. finished. Really? It's this easy. is a stick up. <laughs> Would you like to see my eyes? I would just like to take a. Can I say something? Can I say something? You'd like to say something? Yeah, I want to tell these people, Brett and I went to a health spa to lose five pounds, and she was so ugly, we got there, and she said, look at those two old ugly fat women, and uh, she was looking right in the mirror. <laughs> really? Did you lose any weight? I lost five pounds. Good. Splendid. Everybody I'm... ready? Here we go. Sherry Davis. Dumb Dora is so dumb, she tried to blank a shoehorn. To blow? Tried to blow a shoehorn. Hello there, Bob. Hey, hello, Gene. Are you ready? You were so proud of me. I was already with that first answer. This show is getting more difficult as we go along, I discover. Actually, Dumb Dora was ill. Yes. And she was us using the shoehorn as a tongue depressor. Yes. And she tried to swallow. Tried to the swallow shoe a shoehorn. <laughs> Gee, I like Ooh. this one. <laughs> there will never be a winner from this audience on The Price is Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> and another thing, I have a lot of lemon pies on truth or consequences that would fit several faces in that front row. <laughs> that sounds like a threat to me. What do you say or there? A <laughs> or a plug. Yes. Or a plug. Or both. <laughs> you know about moose and, and, and deer. And everything like that. And how they put their little horns up on a wall? Yes. Well, she tried to mount a shoe horn. She tried to mount a shoe horn. Oh. oh like, a yeah, like a trophy. Okay. That's an answer, Gary. Hello, Gary. Oh, Gene. Testing one, two. Did you really lose five pounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You must have lost your earrings. <laughs> oh. I see, I had the different kind of horn, like a bull's horn, you know, and I yeah. said lasso a rope. Rope a horn? Now, that's another logical answer. Yeah. Dumb Dora is so dumb she tried you to blow a shoehorn. You'll never be horn. a winner on Price Sherry said, right. blow a shoehorn. What do you say, Rona? Well, she was so dumb, she just kept looking at it, and she went around it, and then she decided to um, sit on it. Tried to sit on a shoehorn. Isn't this a logical, intellectual <laughs> exercise that we're giving you here, friends? All right. Now we go past Richard. She's my best friend, Dumb Dora. <laughs> and we go to Fanny. Why are you playing, honey? He oh, doesn't sure. <laughs> Wait a minute, before I give my answer, protection. <laughs> <laughs> Play. Play. A shoe Play and blow, Play. that's it. There you go. You got it. So that's one more for you. You got two now. Your second round question is coming up in a moment or so, but right now we've got this for you. Here we go with Phil Harper's question. Second and final round. You need one to tie, 
and two to win, Phil, because the score at this moment is two to one. Everybody plays except Brett. When Gloria got her nose fixed, she didn't want to forget how she used to look, so she took her old nose and blanked it. <laughs> Gloria got her nose fixed, she didn't want to forget how she used to look, so she took her old nose and blanked it. He's a good little printer, Bob. Bob. Yes, he prints uh, loud Larry's and clear. I have to, I can't write. <laughs> All right, Philip Harper. When Gloria got her nose fixed, she didn't want to forget how she used to look, so she took her old nose and blanked it. Preserved it? Preserved it. Yes. I think you can tell by the heartwarming response from the audience that you blew it. Now, I don't know, preserved, it, it may happen, I don't know, but we'll find out right now, Phil, let's... Uh... You know, at first, I took it personally when they booed me, but yeah. now they boo, they don't like anybody up here, you know? <laughs> so I don't mind telling my answer. He's right, they did, pre he did, uh, who was it? This <laughs> is uh, Gloria. Gloria she. did preserve it, she Gloria. preserved it, she bronzed it. Bronzed it. Well, they like that answer, you see. You came up with the right answer as far as they're concerned. Why? Yeah. They, uh, this audience doesn't sit on the fence. I mean, they let you know one way or another. How about you? I like you? an opinionated group. Yeah. I don't play because oh, you don't I'm a play. winner. That's right. Gary? And I'm a weight loser. <laughs> what do you say? That, I'm re that's really interesting. Bronze. I didn't think of bronze. That's, I said glued it to her mirror. Glued it to her mirror? That's what I thought of. Well, that's what I thought. Lawyer got her nose fixed. She didn't want to forget how she used to look, so she took her old nose and and he said preserved it. What do you say? I don't know why they didn't accept it, but I still think that Bob and I should get together because we would both bronze our noses. Bronze Great. the nose. <laughs> All right. And hung it up off, off the mirror, the rearview mirror in her car. <laughs> what do you say there? I have a brother who uh, won a bronze medal in the Olympics. Really? Yeah, javelin so catching. <laughs> bronze? Bronze. Well, That's the that answer, Phil, bronze. How about you, lady? Well, you remember uh, my mother took the little baby shoes and had them bronzed. And yes. And it was all right, except my little feet were still in them. <laughs> I said bronzed. I'm so bronze sorry. Bronze was the answer. So, Shelly wins again. Come on down. Congratulations. You got $100? Stand by now while we say goodbye to Phil Harper. Phil's going to leave with $3,450. Good luck to you, Phil. It was great. Bye-bye. I had a great time. Sorry. Shall we do this? You know how it goes. Are you ready for it? Okay. Sherry, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Brief blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500, if you match it. You match the next one, you get $250, and the third, $100. Three celebrities are permitted to help. Whom do you choose? Uh, Richard. Richard? Briefcase. Briefcase, he says. There's one. Bob. Bob? I've been in television so long, it means only brief pause to me. Brief pause, okay. Rona? What do you say? Brief encounter. Brief yeah. encounter. Yeah. That was a great old Noel Coward motion that, picture. Oh, okay, you've one. got brief pause, brief encounter, and briefcase. You can choose one of those or give us one of your own. What do you want to do? I'm going to pick case. Brief case. Okay. <laughs> she hopes it's up there. And then it's under the $500 response. But first, we'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Brief moment. Okay, there's one answer. We're looking for briefcase. Let's see if it's under the $250 response. Oh. Briefcase, congratulations. You've got $250 more. You now got $350. What do you think? Encounter. They don't, they, don't, they don't really know. We stopped this audience for the first time today. Well, All right, heavens. let's find out right now what's under the $500 response. Brief encounter. Very good, Roman. Now, Sherry, you're going to play for 10 times 250 or 2,500. To collect that amount of money, you have to match one of the dilingalings head to head. It has to be an exact match. You have to choose one now. I guess I'll pick Richard. You'll pick Richard. All right. If you would face me, please. 
I'll get the $2,500 question and put it to Richard thusly. Blank East, E-A-S-T, blank East, or blank East, blank East. Now, he's finished. <clears throat> Excuse me, Sherry, we need a response from you which you think will match his. How do you fill in that blank? Blank East. Eden East? Is that I couldn't think of any? You couldn't think of anything? What? Is Would you like to start all over again? Uh, we, can, we can roll it right around? And, uh, no. Eden East is your answer? Eden East, she says, will match you. Richard, may we see yours? You're thinking of the movie East of Eden. East I of think. Eden is what yeah. she's thinking of, yeah. What do you say? I could think I was the Middle East and the Far East. The Far East. Well, Siri, you're still the champ. You're going to play another game a little bit later, but right now we've got this. Just a moment or so here to thank all of our celebrated and beautiful people for their efforts today. You were just dandy. Everybody. I'm coming back in spite of the way they've treated you. <laughs> Join us next time for Match Game 75. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75, a Mark Woodson, Bill Tuckman production. <laughs> Let's say hello to Sherry Davis and Shirley Yeary. Hi. This is our current champ, Sherry Davis. She's won $350, and she's going to be challenged now by Shirley Yeary, who will tell us a little bit about herself, please. Okay, I'm from Upland, California. Upland? Uh, Upland. Mm -hmm. And I'm married and have two daughters, uh, Stacy, 10, and Sherry, one and a half. And I was born in California, raised in Tennessee, and I've lived here now for the past two and three and a half years. And I love the show, and I'm glad to be here. Aww. Well, we're delighted to have you with us, and we Thank wish you, you the very best Thank of you. luck. Ladies, we'll begin in a moment or so, but right now we got to do a little business, and this is it. All right, here we go. Push this button, reveal our first round questions, ask the challenger to make a selection. B, please. B is for her. Let's see, everybody plays. Tom said, my wife's been watching too many Lassie reruns. Last night, as soon as he got into bed, she started to blink. <laughs> Tom said, my wife's been watching too many Lassie reruns. Last night, as soon as we got into bed, she started to blink. That's an easy one. Easy for you. you Can you hear that, right. Shirley? Have you got an answer yeah. in your mind? Easy for him, easy well, for just him. hang on to it for a moment or so. That's a simple you one. Say it's Let's easy. see oh. if the I'll show you how new kid on the block got I a have my answer ready. I have it ready. Very good. That's exactly what I had in mind. At the end of the show yesterday, there were only three matches. Yes. On occasion, you have more than that on this show. Oh, yes, we do. Sometimes you get everybody you know, matches. I felt terrible. I didn't make a single match. Well, but you're right. You Just trust your first instinct and everything's gonna be all right all because right. your instincts are terrific. And I hope this audience likes me better than the one yesterday, too. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> See, they do. Now, Shirley, let's get a response. Some do and some don't. Tom said, my wife's been watching too many Lassie reruns. Last night, as soon as we got into bed, she started to... Bark. Bark. Good? Okay. They seem to approve of that answer. They like that answer? They like that answer. Then they're gonna love this there one. You Bark. Are. One for you, Shirley. All right, Miss Brett, honey. Well, I was going to say whine, but I'm tired of drawing on my own personal experiences <laughs> on this show. Plus it, Bark. Bark. That's good for you, Shirley. Now, Gary. Now, Gary, Ruff. what? Ruff. Yeah, you see, I have a collie at home, and my collie doesn't bark when she goes to bed. No? No, she scratches her ear with her foot. <laughs> Last I night, as bark. soon as we got into bed, my wife started to scratch her ear with her foot. My, my wife does that sometimes, too. Yes. I didn't know your wife did that. <laughs> Shirley's looking for the answer, Bark. What are you offering that little girl? Well, what is she going to offer me? Well, I don't know. Right. She, uh, what, she, what, what, bark is what, what she's... What would you give me if I give you that answer? No the bribing story? on this show. It doesn't play that way. Oh, it's Bark. Bark, bark. okay. That's three for her. Good. Would you bark at that girl? Certainly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, would you show us your answer? <laughs> My nose is warm. I, I gotta get to the vet. Uh, yes, now, Shirley, you see. Yes. Went to bed. Yes. I said to her husband, I had such a headache. <laughs> uh, being, you know, an unsympathetic swine that he was. Right, male chauvinist pig. How oh, very true. <laughs> yes. He still continued to make his moves. Oh, I see. And then and... Shirley... Threw back her head. Yes. And how? How? I take it Shirley was ready also. Well, no, <laughs> Just, I no. had the pick of the litter coming up. <laughs> that was a long way to go for a laugh, wasn't it? Where else are we going? Yes. Doesn't, doesn't he look nice today? He does. You do. You look yes. dashing. Well, thank you. I shall dash over to you a little later. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, uh, I have a bizarre answer, and I don't know why. And you, being from Tennessee, you sound like you're from Knoxville. Is that correct? Right. <laughs> from Knoxville. I said fetch, and I have no idea why. As soon I said as we got in bed, she started to fetch. Fanny. I don't know. It yeah. conjures up. Uh, the images. answer doesn't match, but it conjures a fascinating picture in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 We come know. to yours, if you would uh, listen to this uh, carefully. Salt-free Fanny diet. Flag said. She says. I want to, well, I can't do her I accent, can do, so I, I can just... Oh, you can. Can you do Fanny? All right. I can do her. You just, she just start. said she could do George C. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, say, I say Fanny Flags. Said, just Fanny put... Flags said, I want all my friends and relatives in Alabama to know that I finally made it big in Hollywood. After the show, Grumman's Chinese Theater wants me to come over and stick my blank in wet cement. <laughs> <laughs> Very well read, too. Yeah, that's good. What she, part of Tennessee you said, Alabama, you said you from, honey? Uh, Birmingham. Birmingham, Alabama. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I used to walk in and work in a TV station down there. Really? Uh, what did you do down there? I that TV gave station. the news. You gave the news? I gave the news. And what else did I do? <laughs> did you do the weather? Did you do the weather? You do a southern accent very poorly, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do you, then. <laughs> Would you put that card in a slot, Fanny? We're well, waiting for you. she gets me nervous. <laughs> all right, now too she's much ready. time in the steam room. Sherry. <laughs> Fanny Flagg said, I want all my friends and relatives in Alabama to know that I finally made it big in Hollywood after the show. Grauman's Chinese Theater wants me to come over and stick my blank in wet cement. Mel. <laughs> You see, you ever watch this program, honey? You ever see this program? You've seen Fanny on this program, haven't you? The, Fanny is the one wearing the sweater with the big S on front there. <laughs> that's Fanny. Okay. She said mouth, and that's uh, her first response. We have to go with that. So, Bob, you're up first. Well, actresses have been known to put various things in cement right. in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater. Including their but, agents. Including what? Their agents. Their agents, right. But I think the, it's most often the foot. The foot. The foot right. is what occurred to me. Foot is one? Okay. No, 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 no. That's the way it started yesterday. <laughs> Just like that. What do you say? I'm sorry I said he wore cute clothes. 
The clothes had nothing to do with that. <laughs> he don't watch this show either, do he? Oh, yes, he do. Well, if you have mouth there, but five first to I one, don't. you don't. Fanny and I just came back from a health spa, and I know what she put in cement because it took her so long to get it off in uh, the steam room. Boob! Her boob. <laughs> Okay. Gary? I sort of thought that this was a natural. <laughs> yes. Fanny. Yes. Absolutely. I finally made it big at Hollywood after the show. Grauman's Chinese Theater wants me to come over and stick my blank in wet cement. What do you say to that? Well, since I've covered so many of those things, how do you like my southern accent? Better. Believe me, better? you yeah. lie. I will say she does everything well. Do you think I want to be smeared? <laughs> <laughs> well, Fanny, honey, I've never watched them uh, um, put the boob in or any of those other things, but they really always put in the hands. The hands, that's right. That's what they put there in Grandma's Chinese hands. Oh, no. don't do that don't to me. Boo her. I'm She'll get you. insecure. <laughs> Leave your name at the door. <laughs> Stick my blank in wet cement, and she said mouth. Richard, so what? <laughs> I love her dearly. Bazoom. 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 All right. Would you read it? I have the correct answer. I want all my friends and relatives in Alabama to know that I finally made it big in Hollywood. After the show, Grauman's Chinese Theater wants me to come over and stick my blank in wet cement. My friend, Brett Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Round two coming up, here we go. Shirley, would you please make a selection? Yes, B, please. B. The last time you matched three celebrities, Bob, Brett, and Rona, the three of you do not participate. The rest of you do. Miss Kitty said... Oh, I love her. <laughs> she said... Oh, she says the same about you. I do. Yes. Sorry. May I get on with it, so ladies? I, I think she we said, all like to hear the when gossip. When a giant outlaw chicken came to Dodge City... Marshall Dillon didn't shoot him. No siree, Bob. Matt blanked him. When the giant outlaw chicken came to Dodge City, Marshall Dillon didn't shoot him. No siree, Matt blanked him. Matt is Marshall Dillon, as you know, Shirley, right? Dickie Dawson's always saying the dummies are on the second tier, but who's not writing this time? Yes. Yes, this is one of the proudest moments of my life. Right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Surely it took me two days. Miss Kitty said when the giant outlaw chicken came to Dodge City, Marshal Dillon didn't shoot him. No, sir. Matt blanked him. Plucked? Plucked him. Plucked. He plucked him. That's what I would have said That's had exactly I had... That's exactly what I would have You would have said, too. Yep. All right. She um, said he plucked that chicken. Do you know that that show actually did an episode about an elephant once? They did? They've I don't done, remember that. They have done... 19 years or 20 years they've been yes. on the air. What did Matt do to the elephant? He plucked him. No. <laughs> plucked him. Yeah. Well, there's one for you, Shirley. Now we come to Richard Dawson. It is Didn't... no good to pluck a chicken a giant chicken that comes to terrorize your town. That's right. There's if nothing a chicken more is 20 irate feet than a plucked chicken. Oh, they get angry. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, what Marshall did, he ate him. He ate him. Okay. <laughs> All right, Fanny. You know, being from Tennessee, there's not a chicken left in Tennessee. I said uh, he fried and ate him. Fried and yeah. ate that chicken. Yeah. Pick up one more, Shirley. That means you're up to four. And that means Sherry has to match four celebrities to stay in the game. Uh, five, however, Sherry, will win another game for you. Here we go. Everybody plays. During the operation, the surgeon said to the intern, this patient has obviously eaten an overdose of hot peppers. As you can see, his blank is melting. <laughs> During the operation, <laughs> the surgeon said this. Turn to the intern. He says, this patient has obviously eaten an overdose of hot peppers. Look, his blank is melting. Are you allowed to, to use technical terms? Yes. Look to at answer it. this question, See, we this have the... to know at what stage the digestive processes, what they had reached in order to answer it accurately. No. <laughs> technical terms. It's, uh, you make up your own mind where the incision is and uh, play your own game. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not gonna help you. That's a marvelous color. I mean, can, I, like to hold this I have a hand up there, look at that beautiful color on her <laughs> fingernails. What do you call that? Oh, I thought you were looking at my ring. Oh, the ring is pretty too. And the ring is That's a holy open. mackerel. I gotta take oh, that back to my dressing room. Luck. She'll be dancing before she gets out of the studio it. today. Oh, no, it is not. I'm a Libra, and so it's right. Uh, everybody ready over there, Sherry? During the operation, the surgeon said to his intern, this patient has obviously eaten an overdose of hot peppers. As you can see, his blank is melting. His stomach. His stomach is melting. Not bad. Okay. She came up with a very logical answer. She said his stomach is melting. Who plays? Gary, do you play? I yeah, play. Everybody plays. Oh, you play. Play. oh, everybody plays. That's right. She <laughs> matched everybody. Oh, now, you said that right. that is a logical answer. Yeah, sure. Does this odd... Do you consider that a logical answer? They, they do. Right. You... They do. Okay. Got it. So if I have anything else, I have to put up with more of your hissing and booing and all that boring stuff, right? <laughs> then I would like applause. Stomach. They're a fair bunch. Just don't come up with any more wrong answers. So you're big trouble there. What did you say? I say Easter greetings, Easter cheer, pluck a chicken once a year. Right. <laughs> Good idea. I believe this is a match. Pancreas. Pancreas. <laughs> no. That's a match. No, no, no. What is the pan your pancreas? Now, the pancreas is a different it's organ. Mm. Pancreas. The, I uh, asked you if you could use technical terms, and you said yes. Yes, sir, but the you stomach is not... You make your incision that's where you wish, and she right. had. You yeah. think that's not a match? No. Because the pancreas is the gland that contains the Isle of Langerhans that manufactures insulin, has nothing to do with the stomach, really. <laughs> Let's look at it. It's a geography. I'm telling you, you that's I'll a unzip my uh, abdomen here and show you where the no, pancreas you is. Sure. Yeah. Don't what worry. did you say? I'm almost afraid to tell you. Really? Yeah. Uh, can I look at it no, first? No, no. Uh, actually, oh. I said, well, I said stomach. You said stomach? Like, nothing wrong with that. That's two for you, Sherry. You need two more. And you got three to go. She's looking for two more to tie and three more to win. All right, Rona, you're up. As you can see, his blank is melting, and she says stomach. Yeah, well, I went a little bit lower. Said the colon. Really? <laughs> that was a large incision. Now you've got to match the two remaining ones to stay in the game. Richard? I said appendix. Ah, uh, appendix. So Shirley Yeary wins the game. What'd you have, Benny? Ball right there. Come on now, Shirley. Congratulations. Stand by for a moment or so, and we'll say goodbye to Sherry. Sorry to see you go, Sherry. It's been a lot of fun. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. We've got $350 for you. With our best wishes, Sherry Davis. Now, you stand by for a moment or so. We're going to do a commercial here, okay? All right, here we go. Here we are with Shirley Yeary. She's up here for the first time. She's got her $100. Now she's going to try for over $5,000. You ready for that, Shirley? Oh, yes. All right. Here we go. We pulled a recent studio audience, Shirley, and we got their best response to this. Beat blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. Then if you match the next one, you get $250, and the third, $100. Three celebrities are permitted to help. Whom do you choose? Rona. Rona? Beat up. Beat up. Okay. <laughs> That's what they did to Fanny and me at the health spa. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gary. Gary. Beat the clock. Beat the clock. All right. And Fanny. Fanny? <laughs> beat the drum. Beat the drum. So you got beat the drum, beat the clock, and beat up. Now, you can choose one of those, Shirley, or give us one of your own. What do you want to do here? Beat the clock. Yay! You want to choose beat the clock? All right. She hopes that's under the $500 response, and it's up there somewhere, at least. Let's begin by revealing first the $100 response. Beat the heat. Oh. Holy mackerel, that's, that's a well strange answer. Is that, it is kind of strange, isn't it? It was a strange it's audience strange. on a hot summer's day. I don't know. We are looking for beat the clock. Let's find out right now if it's under the $250 response. Beat Nick. Well, Bob Barker had that. That's what you Barker, have, that's... Did you have beat Nick? Yes, yeah. but she ignored me completely. Yes, right. <laughs> I know how you beat the heat, sit in the back row. Excuse me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at her beat the clock. Last chance. Here we go with the $500 response. Beat the clock. Congratulations.
Congratulations. Now, Shirley, you're up to $600, and now you're going to play for $5,000. To collect, remember, you have to match one of them head-to-head. -head. Has to be an exact match. It's time to choose one celebrity now. Okay, I'll stay with Gary. Okay. Gary, you're up. All right, Shirley, face me. Here is the $5,000 question. Blank Jude. J-U-D-E. All right. He's finished. Now we ask you to give us an answer which you think will match his. What do you say to that? All I can think of is the song. Hey Jude. Hey Jude, the song. That was a big hit, wasn't it? Yes. Who did that? Beatles. That's right. She says, hey, Jude, the big hit song, Gary, will match you. What do you say? It's a little boring, but I've gotten into religion lately, and there's a St. Jude. I, when I pray, I say, hey, St. Jude. Where's your husband? Right Is that the one blowing you kisses? That you're jumping up and down? Yeah. Some friends, four yeah. friends. Okay, well, you've got $5,600. How do you feel about that? Oh, terrific. Good. All right, you ready to play another game? Yes. All right, let's bring out another player right now. Here comes Linda Gill. Hello there. Hi. Linda, you know Shirley? Shirley's very excited at this moment because she's won a bundle of dough. Linda, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a rancher's daughter from Sacramento, and I'm finishing my last semester at USC. Fish, you're finishing up <laughs> your last semester at USC. Yeah. What is your major? Speech? It changes every day. It changes every day. <laughs> okay. Good luck to Linda Gill. We'll start this game right after we have a message or two from you. Hello there. Time to say goodbye. Just said hello, now it's time to say goodbye. That's it, could be a song, <laughs> couldn't it, there? You'll come back next time, won't you? Yes. All right. And you'll come back next time. No. Sure. <laughs> you will? Oh, are, are we leaving? <laughs> Is there anything I have forgotten to say? I've, I've said we said prices right several times, haven't we? We'd say truth <laughs> or consequences. Or, no, you can't say that. You can't one. say that. No, only prices right. Can I talk about your new book? What's that called? Well, my book is called Miss Rona. It was on the bestseller list, but it's coming out in paperback. Oh, so you call that a new book? Yeah. I read it. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired of her kissing blind just because Rona is the colonist. I can't stand it. All right. Join us next time for Match Game 75. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. <laughs>
friendly, aren't you? Yeah. We're getting more friendly all the time. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good looking devil, you. Don't touch me unless you love me. Oh. Just right on the lips. Oh. Where do you have to marry know each other? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess she's ready, so let's get on with it, shall we? <coughs> let's say hello to Shirley Yeary and Linda Gill. All right. Shirley's our current champ. She won $5,600. And now she's going to be challenged by Linda. We found out a little bit about her yesterday. She's a last semester student. Is that right? It sure is, I hope. At USC. <laughs> uh -huh. And you keep changing your major every 20 minutes. That's right. And you're not married. Oh, no. You go <laughs> no kids either. No kids either. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're trying to tell us you don't fool around. Is that it? That's yeah. right. Okay. Oh. All right, we'll begin this game right after we finish this message for you. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'll push this button and ask uh, Linda to make a selection. I'd like to try B, please. B is what she wants. <laughs> and that's what she's going to get. Stands there. for boy, and that yes. spells poo. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Rip Van Winkle said... My husband, Rip, slept for 20 years under the old oak tree before I finally decided to put him in a blank. That's what she said. You're, uh, you, you've heard of Mrs. Rip Van Winkle. Mm -hmm. She said, my I husband, didn't know he Rip, was married. slept for 20 years under the old oak tree before I finally decided to put him in a blank. Finished? Think very fast, don't you? And you trust your first instinct. That's good. Very good. Very good. Terrific. Everybody finished? So here we go. Everybody's finished. I can't... Come on, Gary, slip it in the slot there. Now, Linda Gill. <laughs> Mrs. Rip Van Winkle said, My husband, Rip... Have you ever read that story? Vaguely. Just... Yes. He slept for 20 years under the old oak tree before I finally decided to put him in a... Coffin. In a coffin. Right. All right, Linda said coffin. You've read the Rip Van Winkle story, haven't yes, you? Yes, yes, I've lived it. Uh, you have. I was, uh, <laughs> I was under the impression, though, that this was a, a happy show, and so coffin didn't occur to me, and I'm under the impression this is a happy audience, so I'm <laughs> sorry that what occurred to me He's has occurred again. to me. He's threatening you again. And yes. uh, I said he was under the tree anyway. She picked him up and put him in the hammock. 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 People in the audience with good taste are applauding. Yes. <laughs> now, Brett, speaking of good taste, here's Brett Summers. Do you like my tie? Yes. I'm a sergeant. You are. Aren't I, Fanny? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're She's a not corporal. biting on it at no. all. It's her tie. Yeah. She has a lot of these swell ties. Anyway, uh, you know that old expression? What Shape it? up, honey, or you're going to a home. <laughs> I said she put him in a home. Put him in a home. <laughs> yes. That's not bad. That's one thought. <laughs> yes, Gary. I think they that, want to put fan in. I certainly hope that this is a match, because it certainly would have. I said a mausoleum. A mausoleum. Doesn't that mean the same thing? Yeah, that's the same okay. thing. A crypt. Yeah, sorry. Rip uh, slept for 20 years under the old oak tree before I finally decided to put him in a blank, and Linda said coffin. What did you say, Rona? Well, I figured after 20 years of no action, the thing she should do is put him in a bed and try him out. Put him in a bed. Put him in a bed. Finally decided to put him in a bed, she said. She, over here, Linda, said coffin. What do you say, sir? He didn't die, darling. He just fell asleep. Really, he just had a little schluff for 20 years and woke up and said, oh, I've missed beat the clock. Bed. <laughs> <laughs> That seems to be the answer. What do you say there, Fanny? Well, I unfortunately said bed. bed oh, well, thank you. Okay. So that's one for you, and now let's see how you do with your first round question, Shirley. Marge said, uh, I left my bathroom window open during the big blizzard last night. This morning, I discovered the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> I left my bathroom window open during the big blizzard last night. This morning, I discovered the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. Blanking what a cute question. Blanking in the tank. Yes, yes, yes. See, the big blizzard the left the bathroom window open. Then in the morning when she went in there, there was the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. You have pretty cheap bones. Thank you. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, my glasses oh. fell off. The heritage from <laughs> Genghis Khan. That's true. Are they on straight? Yes. <laughs> she looked very chic. Yes, indeed. Your face is crooked. 
Oh, I, oh, I know. I'm really Don't worry, though. I've been here long enough. I'm beginning to understand, Brad. <laughs> Good. Okay. Everybody ready. We call on Shirley Yeary. Marge said I left my bathroom window open during the big blizzard last night. This morning, I discovered the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. Frozen? Frozen. Frozening. I said blanking. Well, we have to... Freezing. freezing. Okay, freezing is her answer. <laughs> freezing in the tank. <laughs> da da dee da 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 Hello there, Bob. Well, I'm, I'm not sure we looked in the same tank. Really? Uh, it was frozen, but he was ice skating. Ice skating. Yeah. 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 I'm going home. I'll never yeah. top that. He gets one. <laughs> gives one good answer and he loses his head. <laughs> They'll get you when you give a wrong one. Okay, Brett. Oh, whoopee for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, skating. Skating. Right. Gary? Do you hope oh, this I is... thought that was her <laughs> No, no, you said skating. She said I freezing. You, I am, yeah, I'm he sorry, said skating. I, I understand her now. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Now, Gary's on. Leave him alone. Oh, I hope this is a match. I said... Because I, I really meant it to be. I said mausoleum. Is that meant? No, no, no. It was the last round. I man. said skating, I'm sorry. Skating. Three skating so far, Shirley. This morning I discovered the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. What do you say to that? No, no, I gotta stop you for a second. Because first I thought <coughs> you said blanking, and then I thought you, I heard you say blank. So I wrote the right thing the first time, and then when you said the blank, so I then said the frozen. But I first had the freezing. Wait a minute. Oh, get on with it. Past tense doesn't make any difference. It's a match. You got a bell. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the bell. You got it. She gives the right answer and she apologizes for it. Right, don't What do you say there? What's the question? I don't know. I've forgotten. I discovered the tidy bowl man blanking in the tank. She said freezing. Floating face down. Floating face down. What's with the are you feeling... I like that. <laughs> you see, instead of going to the psychiatrist and spending 50 bucks, he comes That's here and he it. works out his unresolved right. hostilities. That's exactly what he does. What do you say well, there, I'd madam? I say that Mr. Bob Barker is a wonderful person. Yes. And you know what? He is Indian blood. Has Marlon Brando given you anything, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I said skiing. Skiing is another good one. Okay, so it's one to one at the end of round one and round two coming up after this message. Okay, here we go with round two. Linda Gill, please make a selection. A, please. A, last time you matched Gary, so everyone except Gary will participate in this. The psychiatrist said to his nurse, could you have a water hose ready for my next session? My patient thinks he's a blank. <laughs> oh, honey, I, I got it. Write it down. <laughs> Those psychiatrists, psychiatrists don't give it to psychiatrists. me. Psychiatrists. <laughs> Could you have a water bed? A water, water hose. hose. Ready for the next session. I know where your mind is. <laughs> <laughs> and get it out. Could you have a water hose ready for my next session? My patient thinks he's a blank. Did you hear that, Linda? Sure did. All right, you think about that for a moment. While Bob is finishing up, now he's ready and we'll call on you. Psychiatrist said to his nurse, could you have a water hose ready for my next session? My patient thinks he's a... Gardener. A gardener? <laughs> See, this guy was sleeping for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, Bob, she says, Gardner, could you have a water hose ready for the next session? My patient thinks he's a gardener. Things have been going so well today. Yes. Up till this point. <laughs> the patient thought he was a camel. A camel. And needed the water. <laughs> you are fair weather friends. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> okay, Brett. I do not begin to understand that answer, and I have given some strange answers well, in my Well, camels head. often need don't water. Explain I mean, it. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Go. Good gravy, Marie. No, no. He thought he was a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so the weirdos are applauding your answer. Hi, <laughs> <I> weirdos. <laughs> Go, Gary. Well, I don't write, but do you want to hear my answer? Oh, you anyway? don't write. No, no. You, know, you, you were the one she matched in the first round. Now we call her Rona Barrett. What do you say? Well, only a person who would have a lot of problems would go to a psychiatrist, and therefore he would have to think he was a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant. 
Haven't Boo. picked up one gardener answer, yet I here. Thought. You like that answer? I thought it was a one. Psychiatrist thing. said there's good evidence. <laughs> Kissing Wait blank again. Kissing blank Wait. again. Wait a minute. <laughs> Fanny, I have to say something nice about you. Is there anything nice to say about you? <laughs> no. I <laughs> <Not> like you. <laughs> You're, you're playing, right in the middle there, Richard. You're playing I haven't just had right, just right. much fun since they took a wisdom tooth out through my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Would you read the question, please? The psychiatrist said to his nurse, could you have a water hose ready for my next session? My patient thinks he's a gardener, according to Linda. What do you say? Thinks he's a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Naturally. <laughs> before before I you, answer, I have an announcement to make. What Brent is your announcement? Summer's wig is a Pekingese that once belonged to Alona Massey, and I think it looks swell, don't you? <laughs> no. I hope your false eyelashes fall off, the bottom ones. <laughs> oh, it's fun and games this time. Shit. Fire. This fire. Shit. Fire. No gardeners, Linda. Okay, so now we go to you, Shirley, and you're in a good spot here because all you need is one to win another game. Everyone except Rona will play. Lois Lane said... Now that Superman is old, he's retired from crime fighting. All he does all day is stand on the street corner showing off his shriveled blank. I <laughs> 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 you you're not playing? That's funny. Lois Lane said, now that Superman is old, he's retired from crime fighting. All he does all day is stand on the street corner showing off his shriveled blank. You think about that? Listen, I gotta tell you something. My mother, the sweet, dear old lady that she is, is a little bit of a Mrs. Malaprop. And I went over there one day, and she says, do you know what I heard on the television today? She, I said, from whom? She says, from uh, uh, Ronald Berry. <laughs> and then she gave me some kind of gossip. Somebody was divorcing. I said, who is Ronald Berry? She said, you know Ronald Berry. She's that woman who does all, tells you everything that's going on. <laughs> she got your name, she calls you Ronald Berry. I but, don't want to tell you what a few other people call me. <laughs> <laughs> but she loves you. Okay, here we go. Shirley Yeary. Lois Lane said, now that Superman is old, he's retired from crime fighting. All he does all day is stand on the street corner, showing off his shriveled blank. Is. Yes. What's that? Is. What? Is. Yes. Yes. So plain. <laughs> now that she mentions it, I saw him in the parking lot. <laughs> what did you say, sir? Well, I said he was showing off his shriveled muscles. Muscles. Yeah. Okay. She's looking for a shriveled AS. <laughs> Don't say it with a Tell you what that. she's got here, honey. <laughs> what she she's got? got a shriveled AS. <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations, there's another $100. That means you're up to $5,700. Stand by for a moment or so. Linda, we've got a gift for you, together with our thanks and the very best of wishes from Match Game 75. A pleasure to meet Linda Gill. Goodbye. Now, here it is again. Feels good. Feels good? Yes. <laughs> okay. She's gonna have another go at the big money. She's uh, done very well so far. She had a perfect round when she was up here the first time, won the 5,600, and she's gonna go for it again. Let's see if it happens. We polled a recent studio audience, Shirley. We got their best response to this. Blank finger or blank finger? The answer they... Fingers. Fingers. Oh, fingers, oh, is it, uh, there's is an there S an on a, it. Is there an A-S on the end it. of that, honey? Yeah, there is an <laughs> S on the end of that. I didn't see it. It's not a shriveled S, it's just a plain S. And uh, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. The next one, $250, and the third, $100. Now, three of these people are allowed to help. Choose them one at a time. Richard. Butterfingers. Butterfingers is one answer. And Fanny. Fanny. Sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. And Gary. Gary, have you got one? Lady fingers. Lady fingers. Okay, you got lady fingers, sticky fingers, and butter fingers. Do you want one of those, or have you got a better one in your head? Better fingers. Better fingers. Better. 
What did she, she say? She says she's had better fingers in her head. It's a butter fingers. Okay. All right. <laughs> butter fingers. Butter well, fingers? That's oh. the way it goes. That's right. <laughs> That's the one we're looking for, Butterfingers. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. First, may we see the $100 response. <laughs> Sticky Fingers is the one that Fanny gave you. Okay, that may be a good omen for you, Shirley. Let's find out if uh, Butterfingers is under the $250 response. <laughs> Lady Fingers. Oh, Gary gave you that one. Okay, last chance for Butterfingers. Here's the $500 response. <laughs> we got it. Shirley, you're up to $6,200. And here's a, another go at $5,000. Whom do you select? Richard. All right, Richard, you get ready to write. Shirley will face me. Here is the $5,000 question. Human blank. H-U-M-A-N. Human blank. <laughs> Now, Richard is finished. Shirley, it's up to you to give us an answer which you think will match his. What do you say to this? Human? Being. Human being. Being. She spelled it for me because she knows that I have a little difficulty <laughs> understanding the English language. As it's spoken, where she is from. In Tennessee. In Tennessee. She says human being, B-E-N-G, going to match you. Richard, what do you say to that? Well, I just finished reading the Maki de Sade book, Human Bondage, and uh, I also thought of human race, and I, I know you'll go back to him the next time. Now I wrote being. Oh, congratulations! She said she's going to try and help out President Ford with all that money and put it in circulation and get this recession over with. Going to spend it. Okay. We're very happy for you, Shirley Yeary. You now have $11,200. And for you, dear friends, we've got this message. Now, if uh, you're all set, Shirley, have you, how do you feel? You feel all right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Then we'll present uh, your next challenger. Let's welcome Nana Sandler. Hi. Now, Nana, would you please tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm glad to. I'm from Canoga Park, which yep. is in the valley. And hi. <laughs> and I have a husband that's very nice and a teenage son who's a surfer. And my license plate is Klutz, and that tells the story. Your license plate says klutz on it? Right. Really? What a what klutzy thing have you ever done? A nice, dignified you looking don't lady have like all that. Time. Really? Right, but you... it's great on the freeway. They clear out. Oh, I see. Really? They just let me go. There's a method to your madness. Right. Huh? Okay, Nana, good luck to you. Here we go. Would you please make a selection? A, please. All right. Everybody mm. plays. Rona Barrett said. Oh, again? She said, here's my wicked whisper for the day. She said, Charles Nelson Riley isn't really in a Broadway play. <laughs> mm. Charles has been gone all this time because he's having a blank. <laughs> she said, oh, Charles there's so been... many terrific answers There are some for terrific that. answers to this one. <laughs> but I, I, suppose I don't know any of them. Charles, oh, yes, Could you I, do. Uh, I do? As, as uh, who says, are we playing? Uh, Rona with? Barrett said, here's my wicked whisper for the day. Charles Nelson Riley." who usually sits in that seat, as you know, yeah. really isn't uh, in a Broadway play. Charles has been gone all this time because he's having a blank. Now, which contestant are we playing? Nana Sandler. Well, well may I discuss it with Nana? No, no, you can't talk no, I about can't it. Do no, that. no. Yes, yes, Nana, yes. no, you can't do that. Sleep. All right, everybody oh, finished in the lower tier? ten answers. Just pick one and let's go. Well, I'm picked one and I'm going. Aren't I ready? All right, Nana. Rona Barrett said, here's my wicked whisper for the day. Charles Nelson Riley isn't really in a Broadway play. Charles has been gone all this time because he's having a... Facelift. Facelift. That's one possibility. That was one of the good answers. Yes, Bob? I will have her license plate after today. Vacation. Vacation. 
That's a klutzy answer. Yeah. They're telling it like it is, Bob. That was All a rotten right. answer. Right. <laughs> None of you will become queen for a day. <laughs> Listen, I've been queen for a day. What do I want that to come for? You've been queen for I've your you. whole life. <laughs> Show your answer. Oh, no, I, I was going to, well, unfair, but you know, we, yeah. I would have to then divulge who it was right. with. I said, hair transplant, I'm sorry. Hair transplant. He's, he's not coming face. back because he's having a ball. He's having a good time. <laughs> now, here we go to Rona. What do you say there? Well, I don't know if they'll accept it, but it's what I meant, a nip and tuck, a Nip and tuck. Lift. That's called a facelift in, uh, face in the vernacular. A nip and tuck. And nip and tuck. Nip and that's tuck. what I call it. Every time I say wicked plastic. Yeah, that's right. A nip and tuck. That's what it is. So there's one for you, Nana. The real Richard. scam is he's having a baby. He's having a baby. <laughs> that's another good answer. Fanny? Having a good time. Having a good time. Okay, so it's one for you. Your question is yet to come, but first, this is coming your way. Just time to say goodbye. 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 This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Hudson Bill Todman production. again yeah. got a bunch of live wires out there and a bunch of very engaging amusing uh, gifted people where? up here where? yeah where oh. where the they're heck up are here, they up we here we had them here up a minute here. ago what happened to them I don't know. It says caution curves huh yeah whatever does that mean I holy don't... mackerel if you don't Andy. know <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much you're Let not bad yourself you look, is darling. she no, he looks could nice. we move this on please i've got to clean up her road a little later <laughs> Be the uh, last he's, blowout you ever had. That's right. <laughs> he's got. Uh, he's doing. He's been uh, rehearsing uh, with uh, we Carol just Burnett. Did a marvelous haven't you? special. Have you finished we, it? Right it's for television. Right. Uh, the play Twigs, which was a big success in New York, and Carol Burnett plays four roles in yeah. it, and she's brilliant. Is that going to be on really CBS? Like, yes. As a special? And Alan Arkin directed it. No and kidding. I play the priest. You? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. This weirdo it's played a, a priest? It's a brilliant piece of miscasting. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Same to you, fella. Said. I got to go to the party, but I never get to work. <laughs> all right. She was working at the party. Never mind. Now, you're all right. <laughs> Let's say hello to our two players here, Bye. Shirley Yeary and Nana Sandler. Thank you. Now, Shirley is our current champion. This lady has won a total of $11,200. Have you thought about that? Lots. Now, your husband told me that you're going to spend your half of the eleven two thousand, and his half is going to go in the bank. Is that correct? Oh, sure. Really? Yeah. He's going to help you spend your half? Probably. Oh, yes. May I make a public announcement? No. <laughs> strike a blow for women's lib and keep it all and put it in a blank fund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. 
see how much control I have of this show? <laughs> she says, Can I make no. a public Did announcement? I say no, oh, honey, she goes I right on. I thought you said yes, like you always do at the motel in Encino. <laughs> You know, I knew I didn't have any control there before. either. That's enough. <laughs> Nana Sandler here has had her first round question in challenging Shirley, our champion, and she's matched one of our celebrities. Your first round question will come up in a moment or so, but this is coming up for you right now. <laughs> Three out of four kids are going on fewer. All right, here we go. I'll push this button and reveal our. F oh, ha! Ha! You guys made a mistake. No, you didn't make a mistake. I thought you made it. I was supposed to be two <laughs> questions there, but only uh, just testing you. <laughs> Some control you got, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this question. Tiny, <laughs> stop laughing. Inhale. If you don't stop laughing, your wig is going to fall off. <laughs> uh, are you ready? Control. Yes. Tiny Tom Thumb said. <laughs> How tiny was no. He says, Sorry. I am the tiny people's world champion rodeo star. I may be too little for horses or bulls, but I'm the best in the world at riding a bucking blank. <laughs> tiny Tom Thumb said that. I am the tiny people's world champion rodeo star. I may be too little for horses or bulls, but I am the best in the world at riding a bucking blank. Did you finish? You said what? what bucking? A bucking, bucking blank. A oh. bucking blank. <laughs> oh. Tiny, he's a little fellow, you yeah, see. No. Tom Thumb. Remember him? He was nine inches tall. Sure. P.T. Barnum made him famous. You can read, too. I thought you could just write. She can't write Well, you either. use a new card because oh. we're a very high-priced budget very show here. Price. And you can use two cards if you want to change your answer. Okay, the upper tier is ready. We're Could waiting you for you. Could you write your answer for her, will you please, dear? All right. I now she's all set. Oh, listen. Shirley. I have to tell you something. I want to thank you all for having me here. Why? <laughs> well, are you I going? I've gotten such news for my magazine. <laughs> 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 Hold your head up. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. It's all right. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. We'll deny it all. Tiny Tom Thumb said, I am the tiny people's world champion rodeo star. I may be too little for horses or bulls, but I am the best in the world at riding a bucking blank. Flea. Flea. He was small, wasn't he? <laughs> Ma'am, she said flea. I didn't know he was that small. How small was his tiny uh, Tom Thumb? Before I sh give my answer here, Gene, I would like to establish some rapport with this audience. <laughs> the last audience we had was filled with Art Linkletter fans. <laughs> and my answers were receiving hisses and boos. <laughs> now, admittedly, I made no matches, or very few matches. But I would like to start off anew with you, okay? I said, flee. Oh, right Ma'am, Gene, you do have a way with words. It just takes a couple of days to learn the game. That's, That's right. all. And the price yes. certainly is right, isn't it? The price is right. Everyone got As a matter of fact, the price here is not so hot. But uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. Listen, Brett, what did you say? I say he didn't discover the sock vaccine. All he said was flea, for That's heaven's right. sake. <laughs> I said, now this is a first cousin what? to a flea. What was the first cousin to a flea? Grasshopper. A grasshopper? No. How about an ant? No. Flea no. is a flea and an ant oh, is an ant. Oh, take your buzzer and... Oh, that's an ant. <laughs> there is something interesting. What is a first cousin to an ant? I don't know. What the, what? what is it? First cousin an uncle. To an I don't an know. An uncle. I, I said know. an ant, too. Now you said an ant. All right. We're looking for a flea for Shirley here. Do you offer this lady a flea? Well, I'd like to offer her something, but I am offering Brett and Gary something to an ant. Ant. Ants come up three times so it's far. It's an item. Oh, all right. One more time here. Tiny Tom says, I'm the tiny people's world champion rodeo star. Maybe too little for horses or bulls, but I'm the best in the world at riding a bucking See, blank. he was bigger. He would kill a flea, darling. Yes. Because really. he was nine inches tall. He was nine inches tall. And I won't do what Mr. Barger did, which was grovel. <laughs> <laughs> I will On the other hand, you, I've I seen you do it. to your country. <laughs> My mom was very nice to some of the American soldiers. Pussycat. Pussycat. 
Yeah, no, a nine-inch guy could write sure. a... Yeah, that's right, a pussycat. What did you say, Miss Caution Curves? Are you one of them aliens? I certainly am. <laughs> oh, I, well, I, I said a dog. You said a dog? Yeah. A bucking dog? Okay. All right, All right so dog. it's one to one at the end of round one, and we go to round two. Nana? A, please. A? Everybody plays except uh, Rona. Oh. Oh. Count Dracula said, oh. he said, last night. I visited the Godfather. <laughs> In his entire body, there was no blood. <laughs> no blood. How wonderful. His veins were filled with blank. <laughs> the Godfather. You and know you who do is... your Bella Lugosi imitation. <laughs> I fall in love with you all over again. <laughs> Would you write something on the card? Because I will bite you on the neck if you don't. Just like the last time. <laughs> She's you back in Encino. When, right. when you got a hickey. They were filled with what? Wonderful way His blood was filled His with what? His veins were filled with, with blank. 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 Don't change. Oh. Is there an answer? Now tell the truth. Is there an answer to this? Yes, a very good answer. The Godfather. Yes. The Godfather. Think. Oh, about I got it, honey. <sighs> I think. Yeah, oh, that's like that's Mario good. Okay. I wish I had thought of that. Everybody ready now? Ronnie. Nana. Hi, sweetheart. Count Dracula said last night I visited the Godfather. Blah. In his entire body there was no blood. His veins were filled with blank. Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. I mean, that's, you know, spaghetti sauce is a possibility because it of Godfather. It certainly is with an Italian. It is a possibility. Right. But I know different Italians. I said vino. vino is the answer. Very good answer. Okay. That's a terrific answer. Very good, yes. I'm proud of you, and I like your jacket. And I'll meet you, too. Right. <laughs> Why did I say lead? Well, <laughs> because he was a gangster, that's oh, why. What did you say? You. Why did I say spaghetti sauce? You say a spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. <laughs> okay, okay, one for you. Now we go from you to you, sir. Can see me. Yes. Uh, put my pipes. Spaghetti sauce. Hey! <laughs> He's got Brett's earrings in his mouth. No. <laughs> Would you go ahead, my dear? Spaghetti sauce. There's another one for you. That's four for you and your question coming up right now, a message for you, and this is it. All right, here we go. Second and final round. Now, you need to match three of our celebrities to stay in the game. If you match four of them, you will win your third game. Everyone participates except uh, Bob. You matched her in the first round. I have a TV guide listing for you. Oh. It says, Friday night, NBC, Sanford and Son. Fred Sanford comes home to his junkyard and is shocked when he discovers that his son is blanking their garbage. <laughs> Sanford comes home and is shocked when he discovers that his son is blanking their garbage. Hmm. That's a little synopsis of the I story. I think this is a good time to lay out. Yes, I think so. I'm going to watch and see what Rhoda Barron says before I write my action. <laughs> Ronald Berry. <laughs> well, I was going to say that. I don't know why. All right. She's finished. She's finished. Oh, I get it. I wish Charles was here. <laughs> you don't like that question, I take it. Huh? No, I That's like not Charles. A bad question. Oh, you like Charles. Nice man. Everybody ready over there? Shirley Yeary. TV guide listing, Friday night, NBC, Sanford and Son. Fred Sanford comes home to his junkyard and is shocked when he discovers that his son is blanking their garbage. Sailing. Sailing. Yeah. What's your 
She said, sailing their garbage. Sailing? Sailing their garbage. She had the no, funniest she said, you mean sailing. sailing. You mean sailing? S-E-L-L-I-N-G. Sailing. S-E-L-L-I-N-G, sailing. S-E-L-L-I-N-G, sailing. S-E-L-L-I-N-G, sailing. Why'd you say that? Oh, you're not saying anything. I say it. You're laying out I'm the first one who says. You say it. Why'd you say that? She means that person was hunting for a purchaser, right? Correct. That is one of the dumbest answers I have ever heard on this show. Well, no, that's a possibility. Selling? That's uh, why selling, that's sir. not. No, this that is was my a possibility. Term. Oh, but I uh, just <laughs> think it's a good. I can only speak when I'm asked. I am the MC of this program. I, well, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> then I shall ask you to hold your tongue. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Can we get some glue so it'll stay there? <laughs> now, would you show us talking. your? <laughs> show us your answer, if you please. Da 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 Sailing. <laughs> Shirley, you found one garbage salesman. <laughs> now let's see if you find another one. Hello there. Oh, excuse me. Hello, you. folks. You're out. I said what you have to do on this show occasionally. I said eating. <laughs> eating garbage. Okay. So she's looking for selling garbage. What are you offering her? I'm offering her nothing. Nothing? I mean, I'm offering her the same thing as he offered. Oh, eating garbage. Eating. I mean, after yeah. all, why would he be shocked? All right. Boo yeah. you. <laughs> uh, Sanford comes home to his junkyard is shocked when he discovers that his son is blanking their garbage. Richard? Well, you've got 11,000. You're not going to be too sad. Eating. Eating. Yeah. Uh, that wins the game for now. What do you got there? Come on down. Congratulations. Okay, you stand by for a moment. Got to say goodbye to you. But this lady is going to be leaving with a smile on her face because she's won $11,200. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we got a little message for you, and then you come right back. How do you feel? Here we are with Nana Sandler. Nana's won her first game. She's got $100, and now she's going to try for over $5,000. Are you ready, Nana? I'm ready. Okay. Now, Nana, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Crazy blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match the next one, you get $250, and the third, $100. Three of these dingalings are permitted to offer you some assistance. Whom do you choose a? Richard. You choose a Richard. In honor of Fanny, Crazy Horse. Crazy oh, no, Horse. Yeah. <laughs> I, all she right. understands why I dedicated yes. that. Okay. I stole her Rana? answer. <laughs> Rona? Oh, Rona. Uh, me, yes. Me over I here. didn't hear what she said that, Rona. Uh, in honor of uh, crazy, I'll say crazy legs. Crazy legs. <laughs> crazy legs. So you got two now. One more, Nana. Brett. What about Crazy Joe? Mm -hmm. Crazy Joe. It's that movie. Okay, I know. It was just on television. All right, it's all right with me. Well, don't be like that. I'd like a round of applause. Thank you. But don't let that influence you. I won't. You've got Crazy Joe, Crazy Legs, and Crazy Horse. Do you want to choose one of those or think up one of your own? I think I'm going to go with Crazy Legs. Really? Okay. The audience is cosy cosa about that. They're not sure that they like that, but we'll find out if it's up there, and if it's up there, where is it? And we'll begin down at the bottom and find out first if it's under the $100 response. Crazy cat. Oh, that's a good one. Good one, yeah. None of it. Did you think of that? She didn't ask me. Oh, of course not. All right, we are looking for crazy legs. May we see the $250 response? Crazy legs. Congratulations, Nana. You've got it. That's the one I really gave you. Now, audience, you weren't too thrilled when she chose Crazy Legs. What do you think is under the $500? Crazy Horse. As one man, they said horse. Quilt. And we'll find out right now if they are right. Go. You are right. Crazy Horse. Okay. Now, Nana, you've got the additional $250 that puts you to $350, and now you're going to try for $2,500 to collect. You have to match one head-to-head. -head. This one will have to be exact. Whom do you choose? Richard. Richard again. All right, Nana, face me. Here's the $2,500 question, sir. Are you ready? Ready. Blank choice. 
C H O I C E. Blank choice. All right, he's finished with his response, and we ask you for an answer which you think will match his. What do you say to that? First. Blank choice. First. First choice. Okay, Richard. She says first choice will match you. Well, yeah, I could just think only of the game show that's on called Dealer's Choice. Dealer's all... Choice. No plugs, please. First oh, Brett choice. Brett had first choice, she said. Next okay, <laughs> so Nana, you got the 350. You're still a champ. You're going to play another game. And to do that, we've got to introduce another player. So let's welcome Don Sillifan. Hello there. How are you doing? Don, you know Nana? Right. Now, Don will tell us a little bit about himself, and then we'll begin. Hi, I'm a uh, fireman for the Golden City of Santa Ana. I've been a fireman for about six years. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> married for about five and have a daughter who's celebrating her 15, 15th month old birthday today. Today? <laughs> uh, we wish her a happy birthday. Thank you. And we wish you the best of luck, Don. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, my dear? Ready. All right, Don, we'll make a choice. Uh, B, please. Everybody plays? New game. Harvey said... <laughs> he said, I think my doctor's new nurse used to work in a butcher shop. After she weighed me on the scale, she tried to blank me. Harvey said, I think my doctor's new nurse used to work at a butcher shop. After she weighed me on the scale, she tried to blank me. Oh, I, oh, I did the wrong Could've changed your mind. Good huh. gracious, how could I have been so silly? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Splendid, okay. splendid, splendid. Splendid. <laughs> Oops, splendid. Upside down. Everybody ready? All right, we'll call on Don Siliphant. Harvey said, I think my doctor's new nurse used to work in a butcher shop. After she weighed me on the scale, she tried to blank me. Uh, package me. Package me. Okay. He came up with a reasonable answer. He did indeed. In fact, I think the judges will agree that to package, one wraps. Wraps and package, that is a match. Indeed, you are right. Wrap. I have to say that that lady is the mo one of the most terrific looking ladies I've ever seen. I mean it. She I've is. been admiring her. He came up with a reasonable answer. He did indeed. In fact, I think the judges will agree that to package, one wraps. Wraps and package, that is a match. Indeed, you are right. Wrap. I have to say that that lady is the mo one of the most terrific looking ladies I've ever seen. I mean it. She I've is. I've been admiring her ever since she came. Isn't she great looking? Nana Sandler, yes, a marvelous yeah. looking lady. Donna's kind to of cute it. too, don't you yes. think? <laughs> well, I don't have my bifocals on. Yeah, but <laughs> so if he said says Don is cute, he's cute, that's all. I that's didn't say it that wrong. way. Yes, you did. <laughs> To each his own, cried the old man. Would you put your card up there? Blank. What's your answer? I said, wrap me. Wrap, there's another match for Don. Okay, Gare. Came in a plain brown paper wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Rona. Oh, well, wouldn't you know, I thought to chop it up. Chop me up. After yeah. she weighed me, she tried to chop me up. <laughs> a little hostility there, too. <laughs> All right, Richard. I said, robe or wrap. Robo wrap. That's four for you. What do you say? Wrap and paper. Wrap and paper. Another one. Five. Very well done. All right. Good question later. Now this. Hello there and goodbye there. Thank you there. You were splendid. Gene Rayburn, Match Game 75. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Hudson Bill Tubman production.
Richard Dawson, <laughs> and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now, here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rayburn. Now, what's going on out here? What? What? What is going on? Look at this. It says, watch the price is right, and he's reading a book. What's the name of that book you're reading? I have an advanced copy of Rona Barrett's Miss Rona, and I've got to tell you, Gene, they have their own version of the match game here. They do. They do. Don't you agree? Yeah. You can swing it in ragtime as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Ducks. Is that going to be out soon? Next week. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Is there a lot of juicy stuff in it? Yes. I'm oh. it all over me, as a matter of I fact. <laughs> Do you know if I wrote my autobiography, the nuns could read it? Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry about that. Wait a minute, Is Brett. This... That's not what I've been hearing. Then, now, listen. No, she writes in Latin. Latin. After she writes... those weekends down at La Costa. Mm. It was your show. <laughs> is that is this the Rona Barrett show or Match I just Game 75? You say nice things about me. I don't care about the rest of you. <laughs> all right, we're all She turns on her best friend. Let's say hello to Nana Sandler and Don Silifant. Hello. How much money have you won? $350. Nana's got her $350. Right. And she's a very charming lady, and she's being challenged by Don, who's had his first round question. He did very well with it, which is kind of an unusual situation for a first round question. You matched five of our celebrities, and your question will come up in a moment or so, but first we've got this coming up for you. Pay attention. Here we are, friends. Now hold everything. There it is. I just gotta put my mic together. Uh -huh. This darn thing keeps falling off. Everyone. Oh, there it is. Gene? That wasn't too hard on your eardrums, was it? Yeah. Why is your microphone so large? Well, it's. Uh... <laughs> because it's really a weapon. On guard. Uh... You cleaned it up. I thought All it was right. because you were so happy to see me. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Shall we get on with it here? Nana, this is for you. Everybody plays. Nana's first you. round question. Yeah, you all of you remember the, the 50 song Rock Around the Clock. Oh, Do you remember yes. that yeah. one? I guess you remember that yeah. too. Well, Brett Summers has recorded the new version called Blank Around the Clock. Oh, I got it. You got it. Oh, wait. May I hear it's, that again? There please. was a big song in the 50s called Rock Around the Clock. And Brett Summers recorded the new version called Blank Around the Clock. That's good, honey. May I just say, uh, just for a second. She's trying to steal my thunder. thunder. Very good, Same. honey. Same to you, fella. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> All right, put it right in the slot there, and away we go. Look at Everybody her floundering ready. around. Did here. you change your mind? Oh, are you caught on me? Nothing. Yeah, there. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Hold on, I'll get it. There it is. Thank you. Okay, Nana. Remember the '50s? Do you remember that song? How the how soon they forget? Right. It was rock around the clock. Brett Summers has recorded the new version called "Blank Around the Clock." Drink. Drink around the clock. <laughs> Drink around the clock. I just realized that the name of the show was blocking the name of the star. <laughs> to oh, me, yeah. the name of the star is more important than the name of the show. Here, here. Here, here. All right. It's time now, to show and tell now, star. Right. All right. Uh, the question just, is, Brett Summers recorded the new version called Blank Around the Clock. Yes. Before I give my answer here, I've been with you for a week, and I've enjoyed it all. Yes. And uh, I... I Get love... your hands off no, me, blue no, eyes. I, <laughs> I love Brett, yes. in spite of how the rest of the panel feels about it. Right. <laughs> but my answer to the question is talk. Talk around, around the, the clock. clock. Yeah. Sorry. It's a mild uh, uh, thrust there. Imagine somebody saying that about me. I don't know how they ever could say that about you. If I it's... hadn't been so close to you for yes, a week, could I have been probably wouldn't have realized. What do you, what do you what say do you about say? yourself? I said talk around the clock. You said talk around the clock, you see? <laughs> you know that justifies it. All right, two talks and no drinks. Turn? Your turn. You know why she said that? Why? Because I said it, and she copied Because you said it. Right. That's three talks and no drinking around the clock, Nana. Although drink is not a bad idea at all. 
If you, you can swing that and right. Yes, sir. Right. Rona, do you offer this that's, lady a drink? That's right, Brett. What? Because knowing you as well as I learned to know you in the last few days, I certainly know about your swinging. Swing She's around. a swing around the clock. All right, Richard, if do you I offer the lady a drink? I could just get somebody to swing around the clock with, I can't tell you how thrilled I'd be. I got four <laughs> names for you. <laughs> He's in New York. That's a cut, cut, sir. It's Richard's turn. He's Sorry, on. Dickie. Do I gather then you, you and Cheetah have broken up? <laughs> <laughs> Rivera? That's an excellent answer, Nana. Drink. Excellent. Yes. yes. <laughs> she doesn't drink quite as much as she used to. We've slowed her down. We bent her funnel. Drink. Drink it is. There's one for Nana. Okay, Fanny, you're up. Talk. Talk. Nasty Almost answer. everybody did talk. Talk, uh, but I thought drink was a very good idea. All right, here we go to round two. Don? I'll stick with B, please. B? Only one person does this, and that's you, Rona. Are you ready? Oh, I do it? Oh. Secret agent Maxwell Smart said, he says, I think the chief is trying to get rid of me. He wants me to spy on King Kong by disguising myself as blank. That's what Maxwell Smart said. I think the chief is trying to get rid of me. He wants me to spy on King Kong by disguising myself as blank. All right, my dear, just finish it. Put it in. Okay. Ah, she's finished, and now we call on you. Don, I think the chief is trying to get rid of me. He wants me to spy on King Kong by disguising myself as... Fay Ray. Fay Ray, you say. I went steady, I hear, for three years. Oh, and I want to tell you what a love affair it was. Tell us about it, my dear. Well, you see, they used to meet like this. That's and, enough. Um, you are right. Faye. Yeah. Faye, Ray, OK. So you matched all six. Now, yeah, you got your work cut out for you, haven't you? I sure do. You got to go like gangbusters here to keep up with Don, match five celebrities. Everybody plays except Richard. Oh. Ready? Maria said, My husband, the plumber, isn't very romantic. On our anniversary, all he gave me was a blank. That's what Maria said. My husband, the plumber, is not very romantic. On our anniversary, all he gave me was a blank. Okay, she's finished. Don't think too hard. I know it. Right? Ooh, oh, Good. Oh, oh, oh. Joey, are you in pain? Okay. Oh, I think no. you all got the idea, so we'll pr press on by calling on Nana. Maria said, my husband, the plumber, isn't very romantic. On our anniversary, all he gave me was a... Is that a plunger? A, a plumber's uh, yeah, helper. Right, a plunger. Right, yeah, right. Okay. She says a plunger. She said a plunger. And the audience is applauding. Got to well, match everybody to stay in the game. She just might. She just might. We had the plumber at our house just last week, and with him he had a plumber's friend. That's a plunger. Which is a plunger. That's one match. Right. Okay, Brett. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. Why did I say wrench? You said wrench. So that means Don wins the game. Jerry had a plumber. What do you have? There's another one. Fanny. Oh, all right. Come on down. Congratulations, Don. You stand by for a moment while we say goodbye to Nana. It was a pleasure to meet you. And thank you, everybody. Welcome. Nana Sandler will leave with $350 together with our thanks. Goodbye. Now, this little message for you, and then you come right back. Now, here we are. Don Sullivan is up here for the first time. Step a little closer to me. Don't be afraid just because I'm a star and you're fine. <laughs> Not that close, Don. I'm not, not that kind of star. <laughs> Although you see a lot of them out here. Anyway, uh, he, he's got... <laughs> You've he's acted got his this way, Gene. He's going to try for over 5000 now. Now, you know how this goes? We polled a recent studio audience. This jacket's been in mothballs. That's <laughs> 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 <So, so> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Let's get them out of mothballs, shall we? We pulled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Blank cash. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match the next one, you get $250. And if you match a bottom one, you get 100 
Now, which of the three celebrities here would you like to choose for a little help? Richard, mm -hmm. uh, Richard I guess. My name's Johnny Cash. Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash. All right, there's one. Fanny. Fanny, have you got one? Hard Cash. Hard Cash. You got two now, Don. Or now, Miss Rona. Miss Rona, honey. Well, I was thinking of Hot Cash. Hot Cash. Really? Okay. <laughs> She's going to get you for that. She's there you're going to become a column item. <laughs> All right, you got Hot Cash, Johnny Cash, and Hard Cash. You want one of those, Don, or have you got a better one, you think? I want to stick with Johnny Cash. Yes. Johnny Cash. That's the one he wants. He hopes it's up there under the $500 response. The audience apparently agrees with you, so let's find out if you're right. We'll begin at the bottom by revealing first, if we may, the $100 response. That's Petty Cash. Hmm. Nobody thought of that, and that seems to be a very good answer. I hope that's not a bad omen for you, Don. Here we go. Looking for Johnny Cash. Here is the $500 to $250 response. <laughs> hmm. Cold Cash. I had hot. You had hot cash. Sorry, it's cold cash. All right, last chance for Johnny Cash. Here is the $500 response. Yeah! Johnny Cash! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you now have $600. Now, are you ready for the $5,000? I'm ready. You ready? Okay, you gotta match exactly one celebrity. Which one will it be? Stick with Richard. Okay, Richard, you get ready to write. You face me if you would, please, sir. Here we go. The $5,000 question. Dragon blank. That's D-R-A-G-O-N blank. All right, he's finished his. Now we ask you for your response, which you think will match his. How do you fill in that blank? Dragon fly. You say dragon fly. Okay. For $5,000, Richard, may we see it? He says, Dragonfly will match you. I guess my house is going to burn down then. <laughs> really? Oh, no, no. I put fly. You put fly. Oh! Well done. <laughs> Terrific. Where's your wife? So that means you got $5,600. You know, there's one thing I miss when we get a big win like this of $5,600. Usually there's a lot of kissing going on here now. No. <laughs> okay, I withdraw my statement. Let's go on and press on and meet. Oh, there you go. There. Splendid. Thank you. Now let's meet our next player. Here's Pat Hale. Thank you, Rona. Pat, you know Don? He just won a big bundle of money. He's very happy about that. Now, let's find out a little bit about Pat Hale while he gets it all together there. Well, I originally hail from Portland, Oregon. I now live in Los Angeles. I'm an airline flight attendant, and I just recently married a hail of a guy. <laughs> isn't she? That's a marvelous bit of spontaneity, isn't it? <laughs> Sitting backstage for three days, waiting to come on, and all of a sudden, just bing, just came right into her mind. There. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, Pat, and uh, Don's had some good luck already, and we'll wish you both well and begin. Please, a, please. make a selection. A, please. A, here we go. Alfredo. Yes. The Matador has a way with the bulls. <laughs> Before each bullfight, Alfredo takes the bull aside and he says, he says, oh, bull. <laughs> Will you be nice to me today and tonight? I will give you a blank. <laughs> you be nice to me today, bull. Tonight I will give you a blank. Okay, what's the answer? A very simple answer. It should come to you like that. Bull, you be nice to me today and tonight I will give you a blank. Do you understand uh, English? <laughs> she don't understand English too well. Oh, yes. Bless you, sir. No, get witchy after. There's the one that won you the $5,600. Everybody ready over here. 
Fanny's not ready, now she's ready. So we'll call on Pat. Alfredo the Matador has a way with the bulls. Before each bullfight, Alfredo takes the bull aside and he says, Bull, <laughs> you be nice to me today, and tonight I will give you a... Oh, dear. Uh... What's the matter? You don't understand English. <laughs> I don't understand your English. Uh... <laughs> You'll be nice to me today. Tonight, I will give you a... I can only think of Toreador. I will give you a Toreador? Really? Okay. <laughs> I guess she really didn't understand uh, the question. I think. I, yeah, I hope you understood it, so we get some... Well, her answer was Toreador? Toreador is her answer. Well, I think that she probably understands bullfights a lot better than a lot of people. People say that it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. For everybody except the bull. Right. A bull would like nothing more than at night having a chance to have a go at a matador, a Toreador. Is that match with matador and Toreador? Right. There's one for you, Pat. Very good. I didn't think of it that way. I had another you answer in mind, which I'll tell I you about know later. I what it was. Let me see if you have it. Now, I'll see if I have it. Oh, no, I don't. I have Picador, which is first cousin to a matador. How about Picador and Matador and Toreador? There you go. <laughs> They're a different tack here completely. What tack are you on? The moment of truth. No, that's, that's not... <laughs> that's... <laughs> Not very funny, child. <laughs> 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 I'm going to Zacula and then at Matt the door. There it is. That's three for you. Thank you. Pat Hill, I got a level with you. I thought you were going to strike out with that answer, but you're doing very well with it. So far, you've had a perfect uh, score on the top row, and now we come to the bottom row. Yeah, well, now, she did it all right. Uh, Bull, you'll be nice to me today, and tonight I will give you a blank. Well, I think you and I think the same way. What do you say? I say I give him a shot. A shot? <laughs> Bull shot. That's a little... <laughs> a little vodka and tomato juice. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Now, no one has really come to my answer yet. Maybe Richard has it. I have it. I have Wait a minute. Your answer right here. What is Things that? Things that bulls love. They love cows. Cow! the answer certainly you'll be nice to me today tonight they will give you a cow bull that's Hello. the same as a shot after oh. the bullfight he's too tired for the cow <laughs> no it invigorates go ahead fanny Any, anytime you're ready just jump in between the <laughs> what I, yes i was just wanting to have a few words with the judges wherever they are because you know I, when i answered this question i had in my mind a matador and i said he would give him a date with himself who and he's a matador no. <laughs> no, a date would be with a cow. So that's three for you. Your question is yet to come, but right now this is coming your way, so pay attention. Here we go. Second half of round one. Ready, Don? Ready. This is all for you. Norman's wife complained that she people. was feeling useless, so Norman put wheels on her and used her as a blank. <laughs> Norman's wife complained that she was feeling useless. So he put wheels on her and used her as a blank. Okay, I got it, honey. Silly, isn't it? If I don't, if this isn't the right answer, you and I are through, Don. Well, now, there are a couple of good choices here. They don't all have to be alike. She, uh, he would be very happy if they were, but we'll find out if they're going to be here. Look, Fanny's all finished. Come Everybody's on, finished Mickey except uh, Sir Lancelot. Pardon? <laughs> Norman's wife complained that she was feeling useless. Yeah. So useless. he put useless. So he put wheels on her and used her as a blank. I don't get testy. <laughs> Why did they hold up all That's these good. cards saying speed up? Well, because we're running to a little behind Dickie time here. To make Dickie Dawson slow you hear down. That? She was feeling useless, so Norman put wheels on her and used her as a... Automobile. Automobile is his answer. Bob, what's yours? I thought smaller. I said golf cart. Golf cart is a good one. All right, Brad. Oh, Don, you're cute as a bug's ear. Car. Car. Right. Right. One for you, Gary. Sorry, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. That's a put down. What have you got there? Cart. Cart. Okay, not a match. No. And he doesn't have an engine. He used her as a skateboard. Skateboard. That's a good one. And Fanny. That's the best. Car. Car. That's two for you. So at the end of round one, it's three to two in favor of Pat Hale. Now we've got this message for you. Listen, uh, time is up here. I'm sorry that we've got to stop at this point, but it's in the end of round one, three to two in favor of Pat, and we'll see you next time, okay? Right. Hold the thought, and 
I just want to thank each and every one of you. You're all splendid. Thank you. It was a pleasure being with you, Gene. And, uh, and with uh, Brad. Yes. And I'm, Gary. I'm glad. And Rona. That, and Rona. And Richard. Yes. And you too, Fanny. <laughs> now, you know that his show precedes us, and you will uh, look in on... Does that mean it's better? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> thank you all. Listen, next time we get together, you will have the pleasure of the company of these ding Jimmy Walker. Brad Summers. Gary Berghoff, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and George Stulapoff. Gene Rayburn, Match Game 75. Join us next time. Goodbye. Thank you. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Tattletail's next over most of the CBS stations.